Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you one of the best but simplest trigger mechanisms of all time that I've made. Um, if you get these, just get these pieces and let's go. Okay. Now, you notice I have this. Um, this is just a little rifle thing that I threw together, threw little pieces, little pieces together. Um, if I get so many views or likes on this video, then I'll show you a tutorial on how to make this. I'm going to flip it over. Um, take one of this and a bar, put it right here. here. Only stick it about that much. So it looks like this. Now, take a little piece. Put it right on the end, so it's just a little sticking out. Now take another one, put it on the other end, but push it all the way down to this side, so it looks like this. Now you're going to take this piece, put it on like this. Now take one of this piece, push it all the way in, like this. Now take the last of this, and put it on like this, and then the last little piece. I'm going to put it on the end here. So to get that. Now, what you're going to do is stick this on the bottom. Right here, like this. Looks like this. And it's just just bring it out so you can easily move it. Now I'm going to take this bar, go on the bottom here, take it on the very bottom. I'm gonna stick this right through there. And now you're going to need two kinds of rubber bands. Um, the first one we're going to need a thick, stretchy rubber band. Make sure it's thick and stretchy. And you're going to put it right here around this part. Stretch it all the way back so it gets to here. Now it looks like this. Now you're going to take a thin, a thin, doesn't have to be stretchy rubber band, but I suggest it is, um, and you're going to put it on here, stretch it all the way back and put it around that, so you get this. Get this. There we go. Now we can do a firing test. Okay. This is holding it straight out. Here we go. Wow. It went right here. Um. I want to say it's a good 17 feet, I want to say. Um, now, notice this is only one shot. You only have one shot to do it, and then you have to put another rubber band on it. But overall, 
this is a really good rubber band gun. And that is it. Thank you for watching.